1975, a documentary titled Blue Water, White Death shocked audiences with its stunning footage of great white sharks. But it was a lesser-known documentary, released just a few years later, that left audiences horrified. Savage Shadows, released in 1968, told the story of a man named Henry Bors who was attacked by a great white shark while diving off the coast of Australia. What actually happened that day? Let's explore it in this video. But before we begin, quickly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for many fascinating real-life incidents like this. Let's get started. Sunday, November 29, 1964. Henry Bors and his friends wanted to go to the ocean while the rest of the gathering wanted to relax. He loved underwater photography. If he wasn't leading a Melbourne rock and roll band on saxophone, the man could do everything. Henry wanted to film seals on a historic and lonely island off Victoria's coast in Spearfish in the adjacent waters. Henry and his team prepared to visit Lady Julia Percy Island, a distant volcanic island 22 kilometers from Port Ferry, on a typical Sunday. Lady Julia Percy has the largest Australian fur seal breeding colony. The island also houses rare Australian seabirds. Fur seals are hunted by great white sharks. Henry and his friends had no idea this would affect their lives. The horrific story involved a big great white shark roaming the region. Huge Ben. Given the thousands of fur seals visible, it was easy to believe this monster legend at this time. Henry saw this as another great portfolio opportunity. Henry swam deep at 12.45 p.m. Henry returned to the boat at about 1.15 after filming for an hour. Henry tried again, dissatisfied with his previous film role. Dietra and Fred, armed with their spears, joined him again. Nobody could have guessed that this dive would change them forever. The three companions discovered seals playing in the waves while free diving. Henry started filming a bull seal in the harem. The powerful waves quieted as the seals turned tail. They couldn't find the seals and had to ascend. Henry's head surfaced. Once his head pierced the surface, a massive force slammed him like a freight train. Henry recognized what struck him before he could understand and signal the other dives. Shark, he yelled. He was violently pulled under by the sea. He was powerless. Water exploded. His mask and snorkel were wrenched off by the force pulling Henry down. He then saw a great white shark attack. It clung to his leg. He shook like a dog, shaking an old slipper. Henry anxiously tried to reach the creature's eyes, but its huge nose blocked him. Shark teeth puncturing his calf caused excruciating pain. Beyond the anguish, Henry was drowning as he scrambled his hand across its face. After 45 seconds, he was choking. His left leg was gone as Shark tore it. Henry focused despite his horror. Dietmar and Fred reached Henry. The Shark returned, so he wasn't safe yet. The Beast returned to Henry, hungry for more of the vulnerable filmmaker. Dietmar and Fred attacked the Beast with little hand spears. Dietmar and Fred fought the Shark five times. The dive boat reached the commotion. Jill pulled Henry onto the boat using the safety line. On the boat, Henry received first aid. An ambulance with a couple of liters of blood awaited them at Port Ferry. The attack cost Henry 3.5 liters of blood, the doctor said. Henry was mercilessly attacked. Luckily, he survived. After a few weeks, Henry was back in the water. Savage Shadow, a 1968 documentary, showed portions of the attack and a reenactment. Henry said he didn't hate the thing. He saw them acting naturally. Henry was surrounded by expert divers, fortunately. Henry considered losing his limb lucky because it saved him from the shark. This shark returned five times to be Henry, unlike typical great white shark attacks that only bite once. Thanks for watching this shocking video about Henry Borse's encounter with a shark. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to our channel for more thrilling videos like this. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below with your thoughts on this incredible story.